Acor Orthopedic Educational Tutorial. My name is Ross Marty and I am Director of Clinical Education for Acor and I will be your instructor for this series. In this segment we will cover the basics of custom shoe casting using the bivalve technique. This is the preferred method for someone that has bunions or hammer toes. For this casting method we're going to need a, a solid chair a casting block, you want to cover that with uh, a plastic bag. Probably going to need two rolls of plaster of Paris, a bandage, an indelible pencil, some sort of separate petroleum jelly I'm using, and then finally a bucket of warm water. All right, something you can do if you want when you're marking uh, your foot or getting ready to cast, you can mark it with an indelible pencil. I'll show you real quickly how it works. Uh, so here I'm marking the medial malleolus and the first metatarsal head. Um, you can mark any landmark that way. That way it shows up in the cast when it's poured. We know definitely where those landmarks are. From there we need to put some sort of separate. As I mentioned, I use petroleum jelly. <coughs> I'm going to do a, a chuck of boots. So we want to go one inch higher than the shoe or boot's going to be. So chuckas are usually four inches high. So I want to take a five inch cast. That way I have plenty of cast to make my boot. And just Tie that on there, make sure we get some on the bottom of the foot real quick. Great. Alright, from here we're going to get the length of plaster bandage we need. So we're going to go one inch higher. So we'll start here, back, around the heel, and then just about one inch along the toes. So, looking at this, we need about that much. And we're going to need four layers. This makes the cast nice and firm and sturdy for shipping. Three and finally four. And we'll tear that off. And then we need a top piece starting about one inch beyond the toes, go up one inch higher, and we want the shoe or boot. It's about the same process here. And then again, four layers. So this was a relatively small foot. I only needed one roll. Sometimes you'll need a little bit more than that. All right, take and set this top piece off to the side. And we're going to get the bottom set wet. And we're just going to put it in our fingers like this. And real quickly, one, two, three. Put in our bucket of warm water. And wring it out like a red wig. Work the plaster into the fabric real quick. Alright, have the patient pick their foot up real quick for me. Alright, set it back down, making sure it's in the heel counter area of the casting block. Ankle at 90, knee at 90. Pull this back piece up, one inch higher than we want it. Fold that in with dog ear the edges here. And then we're going to fold this edge up just where it starts to crest a little bit there in the foot and fold that back. We don't want to wrap too much around the dorsum of the foot. It'll be difficult to get off. Fold this leading edge back right behind the medial malleolus and right behind the lateral. And then pull that up again, just coming up around the door, so don't want to get it too high, it'll be too difficult to get off. And lightly, dam off the front. Okay, as it starts to set, we just want to rub all the plaster in nice. And you'll notice as I'm rubbing the plaster in, I'm making a nice little shelf. So we're going to put that top piece on. We want a nice shelf for it to move to. Helps if you get your hands wet. Massaging in the arch. Keep on going here and massage it in. Alright, need to put some separate on those edges. As 
So anywhere the plaster is going to touch plaster, it will hit, adhere to itself. And real quickly, I just double check to make sure I've got some good separate on that top. Grab that top piece and the fingers the same way. Get it wet. Unfold it. Now we're just going to set that back on top, fold leaving the edge. Making sure we cover that entire foot. See where I have that edge, I just fold this top piece up going around that edge. So we get a nice little neat piece here. So they made together real nice and easy. Alright, get our hands wet real quick and we're gonna massage that top piece in. Every once in a while, just check and make sure you still have the alignment. A lot of times the patients like to bend over and look to see what you're doing and it'll change your alignment on you. Alright, you need to let that set up for a few minutes. And as this is setting up, probably a good time to fill out your work order, making sure you have the patient's name on it, the style that you like, the color. And of course, the uh, type of four or five you're looking for. And also, at this time, you can uh, put the information on if you want. I use a patient number system. So this is patient 0073. And today's date. Okay, as it starts to set off, which it's doing now, just slightly start pulling the edges. And this just makes it a lot easier when it's completely cured to come off. I'm going to go back here real quick once I pull all these edges up and massage it back in. You saw how much uh, Vaseline I put on there and it's still wanting to stick to each other. Okay, so I got it up. I'll just massage it back in real quick. All right, looks pretty good. Pull that top piece off nice and gently. Have that patient pick their foot up slightly and we're gonna wiggle this bottom piece off. Set the two back together real quick. There we go. And that is the finished product right there. For more information on what you have seen here today, or to watch another ACOR educational tutorial, visit us at www.acor.com. Thanks for watching and good day.